where you want it? Bay 12, please. Hello there, Transformers fans, and welcome back to another Bay 12 video review. And today we are reviewing the Transformers Studio 86 Core Class Wheelie and Spike. Or Daniel. I mean, they're, they didn't actually do uh, much of a face on this guy, so I, I, I guess it's really up to you. It's technically Spike because Daniel came with slag, so. But then again, Wheelie came with Grimlock, and we got a new Wheelie. And I'm, I'm so glad Hasbro tooled a new wheelie, did a whole new mold for wheelie because the one that came with Grimlock was garbage. There's, there's no sugar coating it. There's no being mean about it. It simply was a, a waste of space in there. I, I mean, I, I know myself and many other Transformers fans would have much rather had Grimlock's inner John Sword, which would have been cheaper to produce than a wheelie with some articulation and in a weird pose so but we're not going to get into that right this second we're going to go over these awesome figures we're going to start off with spike here because uh, a new a new mass retail exosuit spike that's just fully articulated is awesome so here he is in the core class packaging this is the studio series part of core class He's on a semi box and card hybrid thing. He comes with two little yellow blue effects. And there he is. This is such a huge improvement on this. This is garbage. This was a waste of time, a bad idea. We should have got Slag Sword instead. I mean, it, I wouldn't be so upset about this. I'm not, I'm not upset that it doesn't transform. I'm upset that it's in a weird crouched position with no knee articulation, no ankle articulation, no shoulder articulation, a little bit of elbow articulation. I'm fine with no head articulation. It's, it's a dome. If it at least had knee articulation, I would feel a little bit different about this piece. But um, yeah, the Daniel figure that we got was is terrible. This is not a good toy. This is bad. Um, the Buzzworthy Bumblebee exosuit spike that came with da uh, the little Bumblebee figure wasn't much better. This is great. This is this is really good. Uh, you got this cool little switch on his back that lets you rotate his head. So there you go. You make him look left and right. That's pretty cool. Uh, fully articulated shoulders. You get to rotate this section mostly due to transformation. Now you don't got you don't have full clearance here. The wheels do get caught on his little hip panels both ways. So just so you know. Elbow joint, rotation right here, just below the elbow joint, rotation right here, so you can change it to his blaster. And that's where you can put the little bluish effect that plugs right on, which is really cool. Or you can use it like to power up his punches as he's swinging at Decepticons, probably. Uh, no waist articulation. You do have ball jointed hips. Ball jointed knees. There is a hinge right here above the ball jointed knees. That's mostly due to transformation. There's a wheel right here. No ankle articulation. And for comparison, here he is next to the masterpiece spike, which is perfect because now I have a spike and a Daniel in my collection. I was able to get a good deal on this way back before they even announced slag actually with the little Daniel figure. So it's nice that I have two. One's a little bit bigger than the other, which is nice. So you can see how it compares next to the masterpiece. Also on the masterpiece, no face printed. Just a just a blank face. That's so weird. Just 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 a blank face. But you can take the, the helmet off, which is cool. I don't think you can take the helmet off of this one. 
maybe. Nope. That, that does not come off. Okay. Transformation is pretty simple. We're going to rotate these wheels forward like so. Come around to the legs, rotate the legs all the way around so they're facing backwards. Peg the legs together. And then we're going to bring the thighs down. They're going to click into the place right here like so. And then on this hinge right here, we're going to bring the legs. We might split them apart by accident, but that's okay. Bring the legs all the way back up. So that's the back of his exosuit car mode. And then we come to the arms. We're going to bring this hinge back, rotate this all the way around, and then bring this up all the way back like so and then just rotate the thrusters back do the same thing on the other side bring this down bring that up rotate around rotate around and there he is in his little vehicle mode and the wheels do spin he does roll can take the little blue shift X and plug them on the back of his thrusters there so you can give him a little bit of a boost. And for comparison, here he is next to the masterpiece in his little exosuit car mode. And the exosuit masterpiece definitely looks just, just a little bit better. Just a little bit better. And this one's not that much more complicated mold wise than this one. Um, I feel like Hasbro could have easily just repacked this one as the core class. It's not that much larger. It's not that much more complicated in engineering and just release this as the core class. Now, I do still like this. I think this is a good mold, especially, you know, for the, I think 10 bucks it cost, um, or 12, it was 10 or 12, but this is definitely, I think still a little bit better than this one. But what do you think? Which one do you think is a little bit better in your opinion? Do you like the Masterpiece one a little bit more or the new Studio Series Core Class one a little bit more? I like both. I'm definitely going to keep both in my collection for my Spike and my Daniel. Um, but that's just me. Next up we've got Core Class Wheelie. Again, Studio 86. Got some artwork, close up card back artwork, the toy on the back. This one is definitely a big improvement from that terrible, terrible piece that came with Grimlock. I, again, I, I don't know what they were thinking. I, I wouldn't have been too upset if it didn't transform. If, again, just like with Daniel, if it at least had some knee articulation, maybe some elbow articulation, I know that there's some good upgrade kits out there to replace the limbs and make it to where he can even transform, which is cool. I even like that he comes with his little slingshot. That's cool, too. But, yeah, this, this is garbage. Garbage. Not a good figure. Garbage. This figure, on the other hand, is quite good. Very nice movie accurate detail and colors. You got his little little brim of his cap on his head sculpt there. He does come with his little slingshot as well. You just plug it right into his right into his hand there. So he can shoot Grimlock in the nose. He is fully articulated, head is on a ball joint, fully articulated shoulders, elbows. Uh, nothing at the waist, hips, knees, and toes can go forward and back mostly due to transformation. For comparison, here he is next to the Titans Return wheelie. And while I think this one's a little bit better scale wise and overall detail, I still think oops, I still think this is a great wheelie figure. I, I honestly, I think it was nice that Hasbro took the time 
to do a new more movie accurate wheelie for the Studio 86 line and one that's actually articulated instead of that hunk of plastic that I just tossed over there to the side. But honestly, I was satisfied with this one. This one is still a really good figure. It holds up, it's still fully articulated. It's got a translucent cockpit. You can put Headmaster, AKA Titan Master figures inside when he's in vehicle mode, which I think is also really cool about this figure. So overall, I mean, I wasn't really jonesing for a new wheelie anyway. It didn't, as, as much as I think that other one was crap, it didn't bug me all that much because I got this guy back when he came out in Titans Return and it, I, I thought he was a good figure. But this one is definitely, as, as far as a Studio 86 perspective, definitely better. His transformation is nice and simple. We're going to take off his slingshot there and then we're going to straighten out his elbows, open up this little back panel a little bit. Fold his head inside of the cockpit of his car mode, close that up, have this facing forward, come down to the legs, fold those toes up, rotate those feet, ro rotate those shins inward so they're facing each other, and then you're just going to kind of peg them together like so. And then we're going to just kind of bring it all the way up, and then tab his legs into the lower part of his robot mode torso and then we're going to just bring the arms back bring the trunk of the car down his arms are going to tab into that and there he is in his little car mode my only complaint about his little car mode here is there's nothing to do with his fists they're just sticking out of the back that that's really my only complaint here other than that, I think he looks pretty good. I think it's an overall good figure. But between the two of them, I kind of prefer the vehicle mode of the Titans Return one just a little bit more. This one definitely overall looks a little bit more screen accurate despite the hands. But I also really, really liked the Titans Return one. And you know, you don't have his robot mode hands just sticking out the back either. Plus, like I said, his cockpit opens up, you can put a little Titan Master or Headmaster inside or even a Prime Master and close up the vehicle mode with it inside. And that, that I just thought was super, super cool. So, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this review where we reviewed the Studio 86 Spike and Wheelie from the Transformers 1986 movie. Definitely two really good additions to the Studio 86 line much better than these two and i really can't wait to see what other core class they have further i'm really liking that hasbro is, has in, added the core class to both studio series and generations legacy at the moment because it, it has been a really really good small scale line to go along with all the rest of the figures now that we're getting those smaller bots with more attention to them with more attention to detail and better transformations Things, things are looking really better with, with smaller characters like these. Can't wait to see what they do next for the Studio Series core class. I'm really looking forward to that pink Bumblebee laser beak figure. I know some people weren't that excited about it, but I thought it was really cool. That was definitely what I was looking forward to, especially since the Takara one, I mean, having it as a deluxe is just too big. He needs to be smaller, and I really dig it. Who's a character you would really like to see get made in the core class line? Let us know in the comments. It doesn't have to necessarily be a studio series character. It could be from any Transformers universe that you can think of. So let us know what's a character that should be core class scale in the main line that you think should be in the core class scale. Stay tuned for more reviews here on Bay 12. We do all kinds of different Transformers reviews here all the time. Stay tuned for some of our other reviews as well because we do all kinds of other stuff also here on Bay 12. Check out our monthly live sales that we do on our Bay 12 Facebook page. And make sure you check out our new Bay 12 physical location. It's in Order 66 Multiverse within the shops at Willow Bend in West Plano, Texas. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Transform and roll out. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over.